Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of the new save file. We're gonna jump in again and we are gonna... Do, do, do. What do we do? What do we do? Let's do a deleted run. They're always wacky and fun and it's been a little while. Again, we're just gonna play as Happy 99 for now because regular old deleted. I don't know. Now, actually, I'm gonna do... Um, I know I haven't beaten a lot of deleted runs yet, but I'm gonna do Herodicamus or whatever it's called. I can never remember how to pronounce it. But the one where it's really hard... Where you have no health and you only get health by taking negatives. I think that one's, like, really difficult, especially in Fiend Folio, but quite a lot of fun. Um, just because it's it's quite the challenge without being complete BS. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go over to that one there. It's this one here, yeah. Uh, I gotta say, I think this one's quite fun. Um, it can certainly yield some very very interesting runs. And yeah, it's not complete BS. I have had a few BS deaths as this guy, but that's just the nature of deleted as a whole. It's nothing to do with this particular version. Uh, if I remember last time, I just got an item that was just basically like an insta-kill. It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Hello, Lust. Um, I would like your item so that I can corrupt it and turn it into a turn it into a glitched boy. Speed up is not good here. Ooh, I like the spiders. Forgot to uninstall the fires again because I'm stupid. Yes. So we're already <laughs> we're already near death, uh, which is good. We did get a HP up tiers down, um, which wasn't great. Honestly, it's kind of a a good idea for us to just restart right off the bat here, getting hit and losing tiers straight away. Isn't what I'd consider a good start to a run, but. Oh well, uh, Dogtooth is honestly really good. I'm just gonna take it. Um, gives us damage and the secret room finding ability of it is really, really nice. I'm really hoping it's here. It's not. Wow, game. It was here. Why? Whoopsie. Whoopsie, I guess. All I can say is whoopsie, I guess. Oh, that was close. That was close. We might have a few restarts here. Um, I could end up dying on the first floor. Also, can we just take a hot minute to look at how adorably ridiculous our character looks right now? <laughs> We've got the little tooth sticking out of our visor. That's hilarious looking. Okay, this room could be a little bit spicy potatoes, so let's be careful. These guys, these enemies really aren't so bad. Um, as long as you don't stand directly in the way... You're not going to have that bad of a time, to be honest. Most of the time, the tiers don't even cross paths with you. Oh, apparently we've got... <sighs> that guy just farted his way right into me there. Again, big whoops. Let's not worry about it. Either way, for the question of the day today... Hmm. What's something that causes you stress pretty much immediately? What's something that you see that just is a immediate trigger for you to cause some stress. Um, upon going to the next floor, we get this. Ooh, that's actually decent. We'll take that. Also gives us half a soul heart as well, obviously. I didn't actually look what the downside of this was, I'll be honest. I think it was um, tears down every seven hits or something like that, but it was a really small tears down, so nothing much to worry about. The really very little chance of me getting out the way of that, so I'm not going to fret it. Yeah, what's something that you can see that just immediately causes you stress? Like, whether it be sort of PTSD-esque stress, where it just reminds you of something stressful, or whether it's like seeing a spelling mistake that you can't correct or something. I know some people have that sort of thing. It'd be interesting to know. I, it would be interesting to know. I'm so Again, I like to ask these questions that just have a really wide variety of, um, of answers. Um... I've been trying recently to get back into City Skylines. Um, it's a game that I truly love. I own pretty much all the DLC for it, which if anyone has played the game before, it knows it's a ridiculous feat that costs quite a lot of money. But I've been trying to play it with mods because the game is just... If you do, if you do have it on PC and you're not playing with mods, I feel like you're just doing it wrong. Because <laughs> there's just... Some of the mods are just fantastic. Even if you make it very vanilla plus, it's like just incredible. But like... I don't know what's going on, but I've modded it plenty of times before, but this time round it just won't work. Like, it keeps spiking my uh, my memory usage to like 95% and the game keeps crashing. 
And I just can't figure out why. I just cannot figure out what, what's going on. I followed like this tutorial on how to make the game look better. So I was like, okay, it's probably just that. I, my graphics are probably just too high on it, which is ridiculous because the game still doesn't look great. But anyways, I was like, it's probably just that. It was a good chance. And I uninstalled all of that and it's still happening. And I just, I just don't know what's going on. Right, we got a bomb on him, that's good. I was just about to say I should be able to get him before he throws any bullshit at me, but... That's not the way. That's not the way. That's not the way this bloody boss works. You've got, like, no health left, dude. Come on. Dude, you managed to spawn two more shitheads in that time? Are you shaking my nuts? Come on now. Piece of cheese. Use five reverse hermit cards. Uh, plus one damage. I don't know what five reverse hermits will do for me. Yeah, it just drops my money, right? Oh, and it sells things, doesn't it? And it gives it gives a penny. Okay, that's fine. My character's looking real creepy in the back of his head there. Okay. We gained some damage out of that. We are still at exactly one soul heart, so that's not bad. We have a key ready as well. It's lovely. But yeah, that's a game that I just absolutely adore. Basically, I, I have a friend that I meet up with for lunch like once a week. Um, and uh, he's just started playing it. Uh, and I was like, oh, it's been so long since I got into it. I really want to get back into it again. And I was playing it for like a few days and it was fine. And I tried doing this graphic overhaul mod thing and it just broke everything. And even when I uninstall my mods, it still just doesn't work. And I just can't figure out why. So at the minute, I've just given up. I've just accepted that the game's broken. And I, I just, I just, I can't be asked fiddling with mods for hours on end. It just, it just is annoying. It's pointless. It's like, it's like when you mod a game like Skyrim. I don't know how many of you out there have modded Skyrim before, but goddamn, that is one of those games that you will spend about three weeks obsessing and and tweaking and testing your mod load order and all your mods and stuff, and you'll keep adding to it. And you'll be like, no, 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 I'm gonna keep it vanilla this time. I'm gonna keep it vanilla plus, and you'll just keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it, and then um, eventually they get to the point where you're like, okay. It's perfect. And then you'll play it for like three days and you'll never touch it again. And then you'll do the same thing again in like two years time or like a year's time. I've done it so many times. Because the modding process while frustrating is actually quite fun. Uh, with, with City Skylines it hasn't been because there's no clear reason. Whereas Skyrim I understand fairly well so like I can kind of understand what, what general issues are caused by and so therefore actually debug them. Whereas City Skylines, I just have literally no idea. I went into the Discord and I was like, hey guys, does anyone know what this issue might be? And they were like, just read the FAQs. The FAQs ain't worth a damn. It was literally just like, go to your log. Went to the output log and it's just a bunch of gibberish that I have literally no idea how to understand. So it's like, well, that was helpful. Thanks. Like, I even said like, is there a, a log that I can send here that you, if anyone here could help me Decipher what's going wrong and nah, no one was interested in helping. A little bit of a shame. Normally modding communities are pretty sort of friendly to newcomers and on board to like welcome them in and, and have them enjoy the plethora of mods and fix issues and stuff. But yeah, unfortunately not this time around. Um, I think that that discord is just fairly like not very active anyways. So that's probably part of it. But still... Really hope I can get it sorted at some point, because I would very much enjoy to play that game. I also do want to play it on the channel at some point. On the second channel, probably. Uh, it's not really a first channel game. Uh, but on the second channel, at some point, I would like to play that. Um, but obviously, not right now, because it ain't working. It ain't working. We got an item room yet? No. Item room does elude us thus far. Where are you, cheeky item room? Which, what mulligan are you? Oh, you're the bomb one, okay. The interesting resprite for that guy.
Can't remember what you do. Oh god, you fire pennies. That's what you do. Was not at all ready. Whoa, what's this little radius I got around me? Oh, I got a whole bunch of focus crystals there, I see. Where the hell's the item room at, game? Come on now, don't scream me like this. This is why I hate not having mapping. It's, it's just... It makes it hard to even know... No, it's not even about like where you've been and where the boss is. Like, it's just hard to navigate sort of between rooms. Like, I, I can't remember going this way, like, at all. Like, I don't know what else was over here. I'm just going to keep looping back around because I literally cannot remember at all where I've been. Okay, apparently I've already been in this room. Um, I'm going to take this because I think this could be really strong. Maybe. We'll see. So... First hit each room, 1% chance. Okay, that's fine. On bomb. Um, first hit each room, use that. Instead of dying. Okay, that's pretty good. And then... Plus 5, tech 5. Use the hero font. That's pretty nice. Uh, doesn't do anything for us there. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Yeah, so basically my thinking is... We can take the stats down... As long as we get good enough stuff from the items in the shop, and it's going to give us a good amount of HP. That's sort of my thinking here. Use it as a good way to gain a good amount of HP for ourselves. That's sort of the idea that I have in mind. Right. Let's try and kill this Bozo. Hopefully we can keep our tech point five here for a while, because we, we only keep it until we get hit, so... We'll see how long we keep it for. Ooh, that is very nice. Freezing him is lovely. Nice. Um, spawn a Greed Gaper on bomb spawn 13 troll bombs. That's not very good. We'll just take the three immoral hearts, which aren't going to do anything for us. In fact, it's going to be worse than not doing anything for us. It converts our soul heart into immoral hearts, which is real heckin' bad. We did also get this active, though, which is nice. I don't know when we got this active, but... It can be used for us to get golden keys and golden bombs, which is rather nice. Okay, yeah, the tech point five is really stomping. Doing good shit. Mum's eye is also doing very well. Oh, there's a golden key anyways. I ask and I shall receive, apparently. I ask and I shall receive. Right, we got whatever the hell this is. Let's kill these guys first. When you take damage, emit a shout that hurts and knockbacks enemies. Reflect projectiles. Grant an increase in damage boost for ha um, having lower than total health. It's not very good for us because it's an on-hit effect. Every 11 rooms, get whatever that is. Get some damage, get some ladders. Um, on kill, 4% chance to lose. Yeah, that's fine. We got quite a few ladders. I like ladders. Do you know what? I'm just going to take a key for now. Just to have one for the next floor. Is it every 11 rooms we get the cataracts item or whatever it was? I think it was. I see you there. Oh my god, our mum's eye. I don't know if having more of them is causing them to trigger more often, but it certainly seems that way. It's triggering a lot right now. Right. Move a non through. Look at that. Look how common it is. We don't have a lot of luck either, so it's not luck based. Black candle is pretty good. Let's see what our thingies are. Get whatever that is. Get that. On grab bag, get tears. First hit each room, spawn. Mm, it's kind of rough. Every 10 seconds, 40% chance to spawn two times trinket. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that one. It's, it's, <gasps> we did it. 
Huzzah! We unlocked planetariums! <laughs> huzzah, huzzah! I didn't think we'd get it anytime soon, but Andromeda is unlocked, and I realize this is a character that some people might say doesn't count, but I'm gonna count it anyways! Huzzah! Okay. I am slow as fuck right now at 0 0.3 speed. Oh lord. I'm hoping we get a good trinket out of this at some point. Apparently that rock is there. Uh... Okay, no, this is just the second wave of enemies that's under the floor, I think. Oh, dude, this frog. I haven't got the speed for this. You need to stay still for slightly longer, dude. Thank you. I certainly don't be having the speed for these shenanigans. This chicanery. Okay. Carry on. Whipworm might be kind of good right now because our shot speed is really low. It literally did nothing to help us, Grit. Okay, Froggy. Stay away from me, my good boy. Sadly, this Soul Heart would do nothing for us. It's been a strange one. It's been a strange run so far. I'm not sure what the uh, the gemstones that we got did. Are they the things that gave me the planetarium items? I don't know. I say, become less invincible. You fool. Oh, for God's sake, I don't care about the key. God damn it. Annoying boss. I did get hit and I did spawn 28 monsters. Great. I think I'm dead. I also lost quite a lot of items upon getting hit there. That was, uh, that was pretty bad. I can't believe it was a 28% chance to spawn 17 or 18 monsters. Ugh, unlucky. That's just kind of how it is as this character sometimes. I mean, I definitely shouldn't have taken that item. That was obvious, but like, come on. Ooh, that is an item we should just take. Like a 15% chance to spawn a red button, but for some reason I have amazing luck and it feels more like a 40% chance to spawn a red button. Basically every other room has a red button and the red buttons instantly kill everything in the room. It's very valuable. Thing is, on big rooms like this, the button can be anywhere, so you've got to take a... A good look around, and unfortunately, this room doesn't seem to have one. And also, unfortunately, this room is kind of horrible. There's so many enemies, quite a few of which have very high HP. I have to say, not a big fan of that. Also, the fact that these guys are kind of aimless and just jitter around the place makes it even worse. Because it's not even like we can just wait and want... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't fit through that gap? I mean, again, I understand that there was really no reason for me to make the decision to go through that gap, but come on now. You have to be that way. Not just let me by. Ron Apple. Okay. Double tears up is pretty nice. Oh, fuck off with the Fiend Folio bosses game. Can anyone, like, give me some tips on how to just disable the Fiend Folio bosses from the first, first like, two floors? Because just, I just don't want them. I just don't. They can just go away. Don't enjoy running into them on the first few floors in any way, shape, or form. Right, anyways, enough complaining. Skill issue is in full is in full swing right now, and I need to resolve that. Good, good. We got a little baby deleted. Gotta love him. What a cutie pie. 
We just need like one stonking good deleted item. They're out there. They are out there. Do not like this situation because this guy can shoot through walls. It'd be kind of hard for me to avoid him. Really, this is some hot BS. I'm just going to get rid of you with a bomb because I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I'm definitely going to get hit by this guy. Oh, no, not. Ha ha. I think I'm going to back as well. Botfly is pretty good. Um. On whatever this book is, you soul of Cain. Uh, get Ludovico until hit. Get five times whatever that is. On soul heart, 1% chance to spawn 15 monsters. After nine hits, spawn 12 troll bombs. I will take it. I have no idea what this anarchy thing is, but I will say having this many looters actually has a benefit. J just remember they're only temporary though. So once we get hit, they will disappear. But for now, for now, good shit. It's good shit all around. It's gonna be doing some fat, fat damage. Uh, first hit each room, spawn a super troll bomb, minus speed on item, 42% chance to spawn four times needles. Uh, on 65 kills, spawn three random chests. On rotten heart, spawn three lava spawners. I will take that, because it's gonna give me a lot of health. I don't like the pins. I'll be honest, but that gave me a lot of health. So it's giving me somewhat of a chance. Yeah, I want to know what the anarchy looking symbols do. I have a feeling they're probably pretty good. The fuck? What the hell's this? Give me more looters, I guess. The fuck was that? I have literally no idea what that was. That was very bizarre. See now, the extra looter I gave myself what happens to that? <laughs> Where did that go? It's not in my inventory. We need more shot speed. This is tragic with the shot speed. We don't have an uh, a key for our item room yet. My game crashed. Okay. Um. So picking up a heart does something. I don't know what. I guess we'll just not pick up hearts from now on. Because this is rather odd. We've created a situation here. We have, we have. We've created a situation. And I don't really know what to call it. Or what it really is at all. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I'm waiting for the game to boot right now. I apologise for the black screen. There you go. We're back in it. Right, can we continue is the question. No, we cannot. Okay. That was a, va a very bizarre episode that we've got going on there. A little bit of a shorter one, I realise. But that that is the deleted... That is the mantra of the deleted. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. I, uh, yeah, a bit of a pathetic episode, I realise. I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.